Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean, and if you are new here, welcome in. I'm glad you stopped by to check out my video. And to my returning subscribers and my channel members, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to do some sleeve embroidery. Now there's two different ways. So this, um, this for this one, I actually use my little two and a half inch hoop. So this is one of the ways that you can do it. And then there is a second way, which I'm also going to show you guys in a separate video coming up this week as well, showing you the second way that I also do sleeve embroidery. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Um, I'm going to switch to the overhead camera to show you guys how I get everything lined up and as well as get it hooped up. And then we'll go over to the machine and go ahead and stitch out the sweater. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my overhead view. So let's do this. All right, guys, so we are back at the table and I'm gonna go over some supplies that I have here that you'll need, but I wanted to let you guys know one thing. You do not have to know how to digitize to do this. So we are going to use, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the letters and numbers that are already pre-installed on your embroidery machine to stitch on your sleeve. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the supplies. I already mentioned I got my small hoop, my two and a half inch hoop with the ruler. Um, you'll need something to mark your garment with. Um, you can either use like uh, this disappearing ink or wash away marker. I'm gonna use my chalk pencil. I really like using this. It has a racer at the top and it gets um, the chalk mark off of my garments really easy. Or you can use a ch Taylor's chalk or something like that. And I also have a small piece of no-show mesh cutaway stabilizer. So we're gonna be using that. And this is the sweatshirt that I'm going to embroider on the sleeve. And I'm gonna do it exactly like this one over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff off to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and get our sleeve ready. And let me just make sure it's the sleeve I want it on. Actually, I want it on the right sleeve. And so I'm really just going to follow the seam as far as my center point and where I want it. And I'm going to make sure it's lined up very well. And I would suggest go off of the seam. That way you'll know that it's going to be lined up and it's going to be, your placement is going to be really good. And so I'm going to just kind of lay that out. Let me move this up a little bit. And like this one, like I did this one here, I don't want it right down by the band. I want it up a little bit. So I'm going to kind of mark where I want it. And what I like to do, is kind of take my hoop and where I, and put it where I'm most likely going to place it and then I'm going to use the hoop the marks in the hoop to put a mark on my sleeve so I'm most likely going to hoop it about right here and so then it'll I can do it right there and then I'm actually just gonna open it up just to double check that and make sure that is good and even. And I can fill my seam right here. And so I'm gonna use the marks on my hoop and then Add in my ruler, make sure I have it where I want it. Okay, so right there, it looks good to me. That's right, I've got to move it up a, over a little bit. I want it right on that seam. And then I'm gonna fix my ruler. And what I'm gonna do is just put a mark on here. And it may let me, it may not. Let's see. Okay, so it gave me a little bitty mark. And I'm just going to kind of put that mark right there. And that's right on the seam. Okay, so now I know when I 
line my design up, I'm actually going to put the EST a little bit above here and then the 2001 right beneath it. That way, so I can get it as centered as possible. So I have it where I want my hoop to be. So now we have to hoop up our sleeve. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up pretty good. And get that hoop in there. All right. And um, now I'm gonna get my stabilizer and I just kind of fold that and put that in there. And then I just kind of work it out from there. Another thing I like to do is just go in from the top of the sweater and then kind of maneuver my, uh, maneuver my stabilizer and make sure it's covering the entire hoop. All right, and then get it down here at the bottom. All right, and so I am good. And then I'm just feeling now I can still feel that seam there, so that is perfect. That's where I want it, but I'm still going to make sure I use the marks on my hoop to line everything up and make sure everything is centered. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just flatten that out a little bit and I need to move it up. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and slide that up. Again, I'm gonna go in from the top of the sleeve to make sure my stabilizer moves up as I move my hoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and actually let me fold this sleeve up a little bit. Okay, so I did move it up a little bit more and I know that it shifted and it's not centered. So I'm filling for that seam to make sure I'm good. And then now I'm gonna double check and see where I'm at. And I still need to move it up some more. So this is the part that's gonna take a little bit of time, but just take your time with it to make sure and actually you know what no i needed to move it down not up my bad y'all and this is the hard part just getting it lined up getting it in here and I'm just filling for my seam again. I wanna make sure that's good and okay. And there we go. And then I'm gonna just press it down and it is lined up. And I'm gonna leave that mark there. I'm not going to erase it just yet. And then I'm gonna go inside the sleeve and tighten the hoop because that is pointed up on this particular hoop. So I just go in from the top of the sleeve and tighten that up. All right. And then that's what the hoop looks like. So you're just gonna snap that right onto your machine. So it makes it very easy. The hard part is flipping the uh, sleeve up once we get to the machine but I'll show you guys that as well. So we'll go ahead and go over to the machine and get this hooped up. And then I will show you guys how to select your design and get it lined up so it stitches out correctly. All right, guys, so we are at the machine now. I got my shirt on here and I have a couple clamps, you know, keeping everything out the way. And so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer for y'all. And so we're gonna go ahead and get our letters and our numbers. So I'm gonna select on the alphabet and then I'm gonna go to the second screen and I wanna do this font here. So I'm gonna select that. Now with this hoop being so small, um, we're gonna have to rotate our design. Um, I'll show you that in just a moment, but you'll also have to make sure you're selecting the small letters. So. 
I mean, I do, I'm going to use capital letters, but we want to select the small size. So I'm going to select the E and then it's automatically going to default to large. You'll want to select small. And then I'm going to go over to the next screen. I'm going to select my S and my T. Once you select the small for the first one, the next ones will automatically stay on that. So you don't have to keep going back and pressing that. And then so I have my EST and I'm going to hit set. And now it's on my hoop. But I am going to need to rotate this. And so I am going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to click OK. And I'm also going to move it. I just want to move it up a little bit right above the line, the center point, and then OK. And then now we're going to add in our numbers. So we'll click add again. We'll go back and you could select the same font. You can select a different font. Um, I'm actually going to use the same font. And then I'm going to just select the numbers and two. And again, you want to select small. And um, oh, I almost forgot what year my daughter was born. Zero, zero, one. All right. And then this one, I'm also going to rotate 90 degrees. Click OK. And then I'm going to select move and I'm going to move that down and I'm going to move that just below that center line. Mm, yep, that looks good to me. And so, and actually, I think I want to make this EST a little bit bigger. So if you want to resize, you would just click on size and you would just select to enlarge. So I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to make the 2001 a little bit smaller. So then I'm gonna bring it. Oh, actually it won't let me. I can only make it bigger. So that's the smallest it can go. So I'll just leave it where it is. And then I'm good to go. So it is centered. It looks good. I'm gonna click edit end. But then I also want to do a trace and this button right here will allow you to do a trace. So you'll just select that and then you'll select that and then your machine will trace around your design showing you where it's going to stitch out. So I'm going to zoom out and then we're going to see where it's going to stitch out. And it looks good. Now I am going to move it over just a little bit. And actually, you know what, I need to go back out and then move it just a little bit. I'm just looking where I have my chalk mark to make it sure it's centered. And then I'm going to do another trace. Perfect. I'm good with that. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep an eye on this. This is a design that you can't just get up and walk away. You'll want to watch because it is really tight and you don't want, you know, your sweatshirt to move and you accidentally stitch something together. So this is a design or a stitch out that you're, you're going to want to babysit basically. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and click embroidery. And I am using the Brother PE900 machine to show you guys this design. And so it's only going to, it's a two minute design. It's that quick, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let down my presser foot or my foot. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the design. And I am going to keep a close eye on it to make sure nothing stitches together. So I'm going to go ahead and let this stitch out. Again, it's going to be a quick stitch out. And I'll speed through this part of the video so you guys aren't sitting here watching it stitch out. And then we'll go back over to the table and finish everything up.
All right, y'all, so it is finished stitching out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my clips and get it off of the hoop. And what I like to do with, um, when I have, when I'm using this a small hoop, I just take it and slide it through the back of the machine so I don't have to try to pull the sweater all the way through the front. All right, so we are all done, all stitched out. Let me unloosen my hoop. Set that off to the side. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and cut away this stabilizer really quick and be careful you don't want to cut your sleeve while you're um, cutting away your stabilizer so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that away sorry I forgot that was even in the way all right and then get that and seeing if I there's any threads it's a couple jump stitches with it being um, using this tiny hoop you it normally the machine won't cut the jump stitches so let me grab my scissors so I can go ahead there's only a few in there And then just go ahead and cut those off. And take your time because you don't want to cut your sweater. All right, and I got eh, one more. all right she looks good she is even and it actually stitched over my chalk mark so there's a little tiny bit that was on the s and so that is how it looks so it turned out really cute it's a different font well i used the same font before but i use um, a different font for the letters so they were a little bit thinner but on this one the letters as you can see are a little bit thicker so i do like how that looks so that's how you use um, the two and a half inch hoop to go ahead and add some embroidery on a sleeve again you are limited this way by the size of the hoop but you can make it work. You can, you know, add names on there, add dates on there. Um, I did one with a very small like Zodiac sign. So you can do different things with it. Just make sure you're selecting the size small. Otherwise, after that, by the time you try to add that second letter in, it's going to tell you you're out of room because when you select the large letter, it's going to try to embroider large. So just make sure you select the small. And yeah, that's how she turned out. So, and I did use the same um, variegated thread on the sleeve, but you really can't see it as much as you can on the shirt, um, how that's showing, how it looks like it's two different color threads there. So when I did it on the sleeve, it's not showing through as much, but I still like how it turned out. All right, guys, so that was today's quick tutorial. I hope this was helpful. And I will be doing the next video showing you another way that you can embroider all down your sleeve or do a like a large design on your sleeve. And it's also pretty a pretty simple uh, method as well. Not as easy as this. Um, so you will have to have a design, you know, pretty much um, ready to go. You can use a letter or something from the machine. A, um, one of the pre-installed designs as well, but I'll show you guys how I do 
on that one, I actually have a shirt. I'm going to embroider a name down the sleeve. So you guys, that is today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.